Ladies and gentlemen, the topic of our discourse is this is, you lack consistency, not ability. Let these words sink deep into your consciousness, for they hold the key to unlocking the vast reservoir of power that lies dormant within you. You see, my dear friends, you are not merely flesh and blood, not simply a physical being bound by the limitations of the material world. You are, in essence, a divine being created in the image and likeness of God. And just as God is the creator of all that is, so too are you endowed with the power. But here's where many of you falter. You doubt this power. You question your ability. You look at your current circumstances, your past failures, your unfulfilled dreams, and you think, perhaps I'm not capable. Perhaps I lack the talent, the intelligence, the resources to achieve my desires. Let me assure you, with every fiber of my being, that this is a falsehood. It is a lie perpetuated by the limited, conditioned mind. For you do not lack ability. You lack consistency in the application of the law that governs all creation. What is this law? You may ask. It is the law of assumption. The principle that your outer world is a reflection of your inner assumptions. As within, so without. As above, so below. This is the great secret of life, the hidden truth that has been veiled from the masses, but revealed to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. You see, every moment of your life, you're assuming a state. You are dwelling in a particular concept of yourself. And it is this concept, this assumption, that is made manifest in your outer world. Your physical reality is nothing more than the outpicturing of your inner assumptions. But here's where consistency comes into play. Many of you understand this principle intellectually. You may have even experienced moments of alignment where you've seen the power of your assumptions made manifest, but you lack the consistency to dwell in the assumption of your desired state. You allow the appearances of the outer world to shake your faith. You allow the opinions of others, the seeming obstacles in your path, to cause you to waver in your assumption. And in doing so, you create a world that reflects this inconsistency. My friends, the secret to achieving your desires, to manifesting the life you dream of, lies not in acquiring new abilities, but in consistently assuming the state of the wish fulfilled. It is in living from the end, in experiencing in your imagination the reality you wish to create, and in maintaining that assumption regardless of what your senses may tell you. Understand this. Your senses only show you the effects of your past assumptions. They show you where you have been, not where you're going. To create a new reality, you must have the courage and the consistency to assume a new state of being, even when there is no evidence in the outer world to support it. This requires a complete revolution, you're thinking. It demands that you turn away from the world of effects and live entirely in the world of cause, your imagination. For your imagination is not a fantasy-making faculty, as many believe. This is the very gateway to the reality you wish to experience. When you imagine yourself as the person you wish to be, when you feel the reality of your desire fulfilled, you are literally tuning into that reality. You are aligning yourself with the version of you that already exists in what we might call probable realities. And through your consistent assumption of that state, you draw that reality into your present experience. But here's where many of you falter. You engage in this practice for a day, a week, perhaps even a month. You imagine yourself in your desired state. You feel the joy, the fulfillment, the satisfaction of your wish fulfilled. But then, when the outer world doesn't immediately conform to your inner experience, you lose faith. You abandon your assumption and fall back into the old patterns of thought and feeling that created your current reality. This, my dear friends, is the lack of consistency that holds you back. It is not your ability to imagine, to assume, to create that is lacking. It is your consistency in maintaining that assumption in the face of contrary evidence. Remember, the outer world will always lag behind your inner assumptions. It takes time for the seed of your assumption to grow into the fully manifested tree of your desire. But just as a farmer doesn't dig up his seeds every day to check if they're growing, so too must you have the patience and the faith to allow your assumptions to bear fruit.
This consistency and assumption requires a deep understanding of the nature of time. You see, time as we experience it in the physical world is an illusion. In the realm of imagination, in the world of pure potential, all moments exist simultaneously. The you that has already achieved your desire exists now, in this very moment. When you consistently assume the state of your wish fulfilled, you are not working towards a future goal. You are aligning yourself with a present reality that exists in a different dimension of consciousness. You are, in essence, stepping into that reality, embodying that version of yourself. But this embodiment must be consistent. You cannot vacillate between states, assuming your desire one moment, and then falling back into doubt and fear the next. For in doing so, you create a mixed harvest, a reality that reflects your inconsistent assumptions. So how do you develop this consistency? How do you maintain your assumption, even when the outer world seems to contradict it? The key lies in understanding the true nature of your being. You are not the person you see in the mirror, with all their limitations and past failures. You are not the sum of your experiences or the product of your environment. You are pure awareness, pure consciousness, capable of assuming any state you desire. When you truly grasp this truth, when you internalize it at the deepest level of your being, consistency becomes natural. For you understand that your current reality is nothing more than the fruit of your past assumptions. And you have the power to change those assumptions at any moment. This understanding requires a shift in your self-concept. You must see yourself as the operant power in your universe, not as a victim of circumstances, not as a product of your past, but as the divine creator of your reality, this shift is not always easy. It requires vigilance. It demands that you guard the gates of your mind, carefully selecting the thoughts and feelings you allow to take root in your consciousness. For every thought, every feeling is a seed that will inevitably bear fruit in your experience. Here's the beautiful truth. As you practice this consistency, as you persistently assume the state of your wish fulfilled, it becomes easier. It becomes your natural state of being. Just as a musician practices scales until they become second nature, so too will your desired state become your default state of consciousness with consistent practice. This is the power of habit, the power of consistent assumption. And it is this power that will transform your life. That will bridge the gap between your current reality and your desired reality. But remember, my dear friends, this consistency must extend beyond your formal periods of imagination or meditation. It must permeate every aspect of your life. You must live from the assumption of your wish fulfilled in your thoughts, your words, your actions. When you speak, speak as the person who has already achieved their desire. When you act, act from the state of your wish fulfilled. Let every moment of your day be an affirmation of your new assumption. This total embodiment of desired state is what I call living in the end. It is the key to rapid manifestation, to bringing your desires into physical reality with speed and certainty. But living in the end requires courage. It demands that you turn your back on the evidence of your senses, on the opinions of others, on the apparent obstacles in your path. It requires that you have more faith in your assumption than in the so-called facts of your current reality. This courage, this unwavering faith, is the hallmark of the consistent creator. It is what separates those who merely dabble in these principles from those who truly embody them and transform their lives. So I ask you, are you ready to develop this consistency? Are you prepared to assume the responsibility of being the creator of your reality? Are you willing to persist in your assumption even when the whole world seems to deny it? If your answer is yes, then you stand on the threshold of a new life. A life where your desires manifest with ease and grace. The life where you are no longer at the mercy of external circumstances, but are instead the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. But understand, this, the journey of consistent creation is not always smooth. There will be moments of doubt, times when your faith is tested. The old man, the old concept of yourself, will fight to reassert itself. This is natural. And it is to be expected. Remember this truth. The appearance of obstacles, the seeming delays in the manifestation of your desire are not signs of failure. 
They are opportunities for you to strengthen your faith, to deepen your conviction in the reality of your assumption. When doubt arises, when fear threatens to shake your consistency, return to the fundamental truth of your being. You are not your thoughts, not your emotions, not your circumstances. You are the awareness that perceives these things. And as pure awareness, you have the power to choose your state of consciousness. In these moments of challenge, practice what I call revision. Go within to the theater of your mind and replay the events of your day. But this time, see them through the eyes of the person who has already achieved their desire. Feel the emotions you would feel if, if your wish was already fulfilled. This practice of revision is not about denying reality or engaging in fantasy. It is about exercising your divine power to choose the version of reality you wish to experience. It is about consistently aligning yourself with the state of consciousness that matches your desire. Remember, my dear friends, the outer world has no choice but to conform to your inner assumptions. But this conformity is not always immediate. There's often a time lag between the inner assumption and its outer manifestation. This lag is what tests your consistency, what challenges your faith. But if you persist, if you remain faithful to your assumption, regardless of appearances, you will see your desire made manifest. For this is the law, immutable and eternal. As within, so without. As above, so below. Now, let us delve deeper into the nature of consistency and assumption. Many of you may wonder, how long must I persist? How long must I assume before I see results? And to this I say, persistence is not measured in time, but in conviction. You see, in the realm of pure consciousness, in the world of imagination, time does not exist as we know it. A single moment of complete assumption where you fully embody the feeling of your wish fulfilled can be more powerful than months of half-hearted affirmations. This is why I emphasize the importance of feeling. It is not enough to merely visualize your desire or repeat affirmations. You must feel the reality of your wish fulfilled. You must experience the emotions, the sensations, the inner knowing that accompanies the achievement of your desire. When you can evoke this feeling at will, when you can step into the state of your wish fulfilled, regardless of external circumstances, then you have achieved true consistency. For consistency is not about duration, but about intensity and conviction. Think of it this way. Your assumptions are like radio signals broadcasting continuously into the universe. The strength of that signal, the clarity of that broadcast, is determined by the intensity of your feeling, the depth of your conviction. A weak, wavering signal, an assumption held with doubt or fear, will produce weak, inconsistent results. But a strong, clear signal, an assumption held with unshakable faith and vivid feeling, will manifest with power and speed. This is why I often say, feeling is the secret. It is the feeling that gives life to your assumption, that imbues it with the power to reshape your reality. And it is in the consistent cultivation of this feeling that true mastery lies. But here's a crucial point that many overlook. This feeling, this emotion must be genuine. It must come from a place of knowing, not from a place of wanting or needing. For to want or to need implies lack, and lack can never produce abundance. Instead, assume the feeling of already having what you desire. Feel the gratitude, the joy, the satisfaction of your wish fulfilled. Let this feeling permeate every cell of your being, every fiber of your existence. And here's the beautiful paradox. As you consistently assume this feeling of fulfillment, you'll find that your desire for the thing itself begins to fade. For you already have it in consciousness, and consciousness is the only reality. This state of fulfillment, this feeling of completeness is your natural state, is who you truly are beneath the layers of conditioning and false beliefs. And as you consistently align with this state, you'll find that manifestation becomes efforts. Your outer world will rearrange itself to match your inner state, often in ways that will seem miraculous. Opportunities will appear, circumstances will align, people will enter your life all in service of bringing your assumption into physical reality. But remember, these outer changes are not the cause of your fulfillment. They are merely the effects, the shadows cast by the light of your consciousness. Your true fulfillment comes from 
within, from your consistent alignment with the state of your wish fulfilled. Now, let us, that's a common pitfall that many encounter on this journey of consistent creation. It is the tendency to judge the success of your assumption by external results. This is a grave error. It replaces the power outside of you and makes you a victim of circumstances. Instead, judge the success of your assumption by how natural it feels, by how easily you can enter and maintain the state of your wish fulfilled. For this inner feeling is the true measure of your consistency, the true indicator of your alignment with your desire. Remember, the outer world is bound by time and space. It takes time for a seed to grow into a tree, for a building to be constructed from blueprints. In the same way, it may take time for your assumption to fully manifest in the physical world. But in consciousness, in the realm of imagination, your wish is already fulfilled. And it is from this place of fulfillment that you must live consistently and persistently. This brings us to another crucial aspect of consistency. Detachment. Many of you, in your eagerness to see results, become attached to specific outcomes, specific timelines. You obsess over when and how your desire will manifest. But this attachment, this anxious waiting, is itself a form of inconsistency. For it implies that you don't yet have what you desire. That it is still something in the future rather than a present reality. True consistency requires a state of relaxed detachment. You assume the state of your wish fulfilled, you live from that state, and then you let go. You trust in the law, in the inevitability of your assumption made manifest. This detachment is not indifference, it is not a lack of desire. Rather, it is a supreme confidence in the operation of the law. It is the knowing that what you have assumed in consciousness must, by the very nature of reality, externalize itself in your world. Think of it like planting a seed. Once you've planted it, you don't stand over it day and night, anxiously waiting for it to sprout. You trust in the process of growth. You know that given the right conditions, soil, water, sunlight, in the same way, once you've planted the seed of your assumption in the fertile soil of your consciousness, you must trust in the process. You must provide the right conditions. Consistent assumption, feeling, and detachment. And then allow the natural laws of manifestation to operate. This trust, this knowing, is itself a form of consistency. It is an unwavering faith in the law. In your own divine nature as the open power in your universe is a point that's often misunderstood. This detachment does not mean you become passive. You don't simply assume your desire and then sit back and wait. Rather, you continue to live, to act, to move through your days, but you do so from the state of your wish fulfilled. Your actions, your decisions, your responses to the events of your life, all of these should flow naturally from your new assumption. This is what it means to live in the end to embody the state of your wish fulfilled in every aspect of your life. And as you do this consistently, you'll find that your actions become inspired. You'll be moved to do things, to take steps that align with your assumption. These inspired actions are not the cause of your manifestation, but rather the effects of your new state of consciousness. This is the true meaning of faith without works is dead. The works, the actions, are not something you do to make your desire manifest. They are the natural outflowing of your assumption, the physical expression of your inner state. Now, let us address another aspect of consistency that is often overlooked, the consistency of your self-concept. You see, many of you focus on assuming specific desires, a new job, a romantic partner, financial abundance, but you neglect the most fundamental assumption of all. The assumption of your divine nature, remember, you are not merely a physical being seeking to manipulate external reality. You are a divine being created in the image and likeness of God, endowed with the power to create worlds through your consciousness. This is not an egoic assertion. It is not about inflating your personal sense of self. Rather, it is about consistently aligning with your true nature, with the I am that is the core of your being. When you consistently assume this divine self-concept, when you live from the knowing of your true nature, all other assumptions become effortless. 
For from this state of alignment, all things are possible. This is why I often say, I'm is the secret name of God. When you declare I am, you are asserting your oneness with the divine creative power of the universe. And whatever you attach to that I am, you give life to in your experience. So I urge you, be consistent in your assumption of your divine nature. Let I am be the foundation of all your other assumptions. But when you know yourself as pure awareness, as the operant power in your universe, consistency in all other areas of your life becomes natural. In conclusion, my dear friends, remember that you do not lack ability. You are endowed with infinite potential, with the very power that creates worlds. What you may lack is consistency in the application of this power. But consistency is a skill that can be developed, a muscle that can be strengthened through persistent practice. Every moment of your life is an opportunity to assume the state of your wish fulfilled, to align with your divine nature, to live from the end. Embrace this opportunity. Be vigilant in guarding the gates of your mind, in choosing the assumptions you will entertain. For as you sow in consciousness, so shall you reap in experience. Let your consistency be unwavering, your faith unshakable, for you are the author of your life story, the creator of your reality. Your consistency and assumption is the pen with which you write your destiny. Write boldly, write with conviction, write from the state of your wish fulfilled, and watch as the word reshapes itself to match your inner vision. Remember, the outer world has no choice but to conform to your inner assumptions. This is the law, immutable and eternal. So be consistent in your assumptions, be steadfast in your faith, and be patient in your expectation. For your assumption consistently held must and will become your reality.